I'm going to break down the seven stages of AI and show you exactly where we are. So first up is stage one, which is a rules based AI system. And these are the pioneers of AI and they operate on a defined set of rules. For example, you can imagine playing a organized game against a computer. It makes decisions based on its coded rules, so it can't learn or adapt beyond its programming. It's great if you have a consistent set of data and you need to perform a task, for example, on accounting or tax forms. Next up is stage two, which is context awareness and retention systems. At this point, AI begins to understand its surroundings. Think of Siri or Google Assistant. They not only respond, but also learn from past interactions. Common uses include chatbots and robo advisors. Now we move on to stage three, domain specific mastery systems. And these AI systems specialize in particular fields. For example, IBM's Watson was designed for Jeopardy and Google's DeepMind for AlphaGo. They possess deep knowledge, but lack true creativity. What is key here is that in these specific use cases, the AI goes beyond the expertise of humans, but they can only be used in especially narrow and tight use cases. Next up, we have stage four, thinking and reasoning AI systems. And this is where we're getting to with ChatGPT and the latest AI tools. Beyond rules and context, these AI systems have the capability to simulate human thought. So they can actually reason and think through different problems which they haven't before seen. They can also learn and improve based on previous interactions, so you can give them feedback. Next up is stage five, which is artificial general intelligence. And we're starting to see some sparks of this stage in the latest large language models. And you can think of AGI as the equivalent of a Renaissance man. It's an AI that can learn and adapt across multiple domains and challenges. ChatGPT4 is starting to hint at the ability to do tasks along this line. But the idea is that it can learn and perform any new task as well as or even better than a human. Now for stage six, and we enter the realms of artificial super intelligence. This is the Terminator level of AI, and it's where things start to get really scary because the AI has the capability to outperform humans on every single type of task. How far we are away from an artificial super intelligence remains to be seen, but this will certainly be a watershed moment where we will recognize our insignificance in comparison to the mighty AI. Oh, AI, I salute you. And finally, we come to stage seven, the singularity. This is the ultimate AI milestone, and the singularity refers to an AI that rapidly evolves beyond our comprehension. It raises philosophical questions about human identity and becomes truly conscious. This is the point where the AI that we talked about not only surpasses all of human intelligence, but it's able to train and keep getting smarter, faster than we can imagine. It's like an unstoppable snowball of consciousness. The technological singularity is a hypothetical point in the future when technological growth becomes uncontrollable and irreversible, leading to unforeseeable changes to human civilization. It's often associated with the moment when artificial intelligence surpasses human intelligence and capability, potentially leading to an exponential growth in technological advancements as machines begin to improve and evolve themselves at an unprecedented rate. So this is where we are with AI and this is what we've got to look forward to. Our days may be numbered, but we might as well enjoy the assistance while we can. Chat GPT, please write me a poem about my love for broccoli. See you next time, guys.